Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to enter a trade. I get this question a lot. That's why I figured it would be a good idea to make a video just on this. It's going to be a pretty short video uh, and straight to the point, right? There's no right answer um, to, to how you'd like to, to buy or sell. Um, really, there's just an aggressive way of doing it and a conservative way of doing it. And depending on your risk appetite, uh, in your risk profile as a trader, you know, you might have a day job uh, working in an office, or you might be, you know, a blue collar worker out in the field all day. Um, you know, you can still make money in the market, you don't have to be at the computer all day, and you, you, you don't need to be sniping price levels in order to to buy and sell, right. So what you uh, what you can do is uh, a, an aggressive entry is really just going to be a limit buy at a horizontal price level, a trend line, a moving average, something like that. Uh, so you definitely have a much higher uh, risk reward, right? So, you know, you can get much closer to risk, much better reward um, if you're at the computer, you know, and you get to that level uh, and you enter your trade and a couple minutes later, you're wrong, you can get stopped out. Um, but you also have a higher risk of being wrong. Um, you know, so uh, you, and you're generally going to be that one of the people that's buying lower and, and selling higher. Uh, the other way of doing it would would really be a, a, a conservative entry, uh, meaning you're going to wait for the market to produce, uh, you know, an actual buy signal, right? Um, so it's going to say, you know, like for example, here on March 25th, you put in this reversal candle, right? Price went up to the five captured it then fell back down put in a higher low well the day that this put in a higher low the ppo started to curl up right and you even got a curl up here and above the zero line um, you could have also said look this reversal candle on volume is my signal i need to wait to retrace some of this and uh, you know put my stop here at 207 uh, buy here at 215 um, you know, and look for a little bit of a trade. Uh, again, not the best buy signal here. You're in chop, been in chop for quite some time. Uh, better buy signals came back here when she was more trending. Um, but 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 the but the bottom line here is that if you're an aggressive trader, you're gonna have your limit order in at two two ten nineteen, um, or right here at 217.85 for this break, maybe this double bottom setup, maybe this gap fill at 221.13. Uh, same, same thing back here when you came down. You know, you're gonna be buying these horizontal price levels with a limit buy, and you know, you're gonna get stopped out a lot more often. Uh, it's just part of the game, but you're gonna have a, a better risk reward. Uh, and the conservative approach, you know, is market buy after, right? much lower reward, much higher probability of being right. And generally, you're going to buy higher than where you could have if you had made an aggressive entry. Um, what I get a lot of people uh, complain is that, you know, oh, well, we got stopped out. Well, why are we buying here? We got stopped out. Well, dude, that's that's part of the game. Um, and then the other the other thing that you see is, uh, you know, if you're a swing trader, right, like I am, you should be scaling into your positions, right? I'm going to hold a position for weeks, right? Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get to hold it for three to six months. Uh, but generally, you know, like a month to, to three months is, is, is about all you're going to get on some of these trades. And when that happens, you know, I'm okay buying, for example, at this trend line, 213, right? Just market buy. Buy again, if she comes down to 210, you know, I'm okay taking two positions as we come lower. Same thing here, right? As price continued to approach this low at 207 on March 24th and March 25th, the closer we got to that low, the, the, the closer we were to risk. So obviously it's, it, it's a better risk reward every time and it's a more aggressive approach. Um, I also like to zoom into the hourly chart, find hourly reversal candles on volume, uh, just like you have here, right? On time, uh, either using you know TD DeMarc or some other count that I like to, to, to use. 
and you know this this gives you a, a way to define your risk so i'm more of a conservative trader um, with some aggressive uh tendencies like on etfs i will be more aggressive than stocks um, but you know and, and taking the plan that we have right these supply demand and invalidation levels and then uh, enter a trade based on these levels right just because we're at 213 doesn't mean we're going to reverse right just because you're at 210 doesn't mean you're going to reverse just because you were at 217 216 this day here didn't mean you were going to reverse i mean this day here even had a lot of volume um and the next day you broke that day's high so i mean back above the 217 low but it was just on an hourly basis it never it never transformed into the daily chart um and it closed below this low was your was another clue to exit um again but if you were limit you know limit buying here your aggressive entry would have been stopped out um and you know trying to pick the lows isn't really what a swing trader is is, is interested in it's what a day trader is interested in right you're trying to snipe the low on the day um as a swing trader you're trying to get the direction of the trend right and you're trying to stay with the trend until it's no longer right um and you know a, a conservative entry is, is more than sufficient for swing trading you, you don't need to be aggressive um and again uh, aggressive is is really only good uh f f for the more seasoned traders um if if you're new to trading try a conservative entry right uh you know you don't know if if this market collapse is going to be like the march 20 collapse like a january 2018 collapse like a 2007 collapse like they're all different they're all unique you never know and you don't have to be the first person at the party so i, I always advocate for for the conservative entries uh, and scale into your position right pick a couple horizontal price levels you know recognize that your risk here is at 207 so the closer we get to 207 the, the more I'm, I'm gonna buy right the closer i am to risk the further we get away the more we have to sell all right and that concludes this video uh if you like the content uh, please hit the like video subscribe to the channel and check us out on twitter thanks